There's a lot of practical reasons to acoustically treat your room. It makes it easier to mix and record music, it can make it easier to concentrate work or study, and it can drastically improve the experience of listening to music and movies. I could list off more reasons why you may want to acoustically treat your room, but the best way to illustrate why would be to show you the difference it makes on a common sized room that's meant for critical listening and professional audio purposes. The room we're working with is 17 feet by 13 feet, with ceilings just shy of 8 feet. We've set up the speakers along a short wall and set the listening position so it forms an equilateral triangle with the speakers. Let's run the room EQ wizard test and see what we get. Right away, we can see we've got some pretty big peaks and knolls. If we take a look at the waterfall graph, we can clearly see the fall off from the lingering reverb in the room. Let's throw some basic treatment into the room and see how we can improve the frequency response. For this room, we're going to be using 242s to treat the first reflections on our walls and ceiling. For our corners, we've got two impression series tri-traps stacked floor to ceiling in each corner, and our front wall, we've got this nice four inch thick art panel. Our side walls also have four inch thick art panels behind our first reflection points, and on our back wall, we've got six monster base traps to help out on our low end. This test shows a drastic improvement in the frequency response with the untreated peaks and knolls now being smoothed out. Room EQ Wizard is a great tool for identifying specific frequencies that are causing issues. Looking at the Room EQ Wizard graph, we can get a better idea of what kind of treatment we would need to improve this room even further. We could use thicker panels on the first reflection or thick bass traps on our horizontal corners to further improve our bass response. Looking at the waterfall graphs, we can see a steeper fall off representing less echo. It's easy to see when we compare graphs that the treatment had a positive effect on the room, but how does it sound? Here we've got a couple of PMC 828s that we're going to use for a little music playback test so you can see what it's like to listen to music before and after we add treatment. I've got you under my skin. I've got you deep in the heart of me. You're so deep in my heart that you're really a part of me. And I've got you under my skin. It's easy to hear the reflections blend notes together in the room, making the playback sound muddy. The physics of sound don't change whether you're recording or playing back music, so let's listen to the difference the treatment makes when we're recording a simple guitar track. Just as with our playback test, individual notes come across much clearer, without the reflections bouncing off the wall into the mic muddying up the audio. These improvements are going to be most noticeable in the bass frequencies, and without a proper bass treatment, you're not going to be able to reliably cut an accurate mix without having to go back and test it across multiple sound systems. With a thorough GIK treatment, you can be confident that your mix is accurate, and we have the tools and know-how to guide you through every step of the process. So if you need help testing or treating your room, Visit our website where you can find tons of useful articles, videos, and tools that'll help you get the best sound out of your space. Get free acoustic advice. Visit GIKacoustics.com for educational articles and tutorials.